guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of the wonderful The Arsenio's ESL Podcast, man. Appreciate you guys being back here again. And today we have another wonderful special academic writer. That's right, people. I wrote out another perfect five for five in a coaching session that I had done with one of my students. And again, he ended up getting a 17 in his writing before my coaching. And so I said, okay, well, let me do something and let's see what we can integrate so that we could get a better score. So here is the full thing. If you guys want to see the actual template and everything, follow me on IG, Arsenio's ESL Podcast. And without further ado, let's dive in. And I'm going to go with her idea. So now let's dive into the structure. What you're going to do, you're always going to write this. I'm going to take a photo. Don't worry. While I do understand both points made by ooh, both points made by the by the students. There we go. I agree with Claire's idea that companies should provide employees with different training programs to advance their careers done now let me break this down don't worry i got less than six minutes but i'm looking sexy so what's going to happen we're going to start it off with the coordinate i'm sorry the subordinating conjunctions while because we're acknowledging everybody while i do understand both points made by the students then you're going to put a comma and you're going to say i agree with whoever's idea you're going to combine that with the that don't worry i'm going to take a photo and we're going to extract everything that way okay that companies should provide employees with different training programs to advance their careers the main reason why i choose this is because we know and this is the easiest one for me to expand on that is your sentence numero uno that is your introductory sentence okay now let me go on. For example, most companies, especially uh, car manufacturing companies, do not give employees the opportunity to skill up. The okay, so that's my first sentence. For example, most companies, especially car manufacturing companies, right? We're talking about Ford and all the other bullshit companies. You're doing the same redundant work day after day. You're not getting better. We know what this is. You see what I mean? And so I know this because when I used to teach at schools, you had a whole bunch of angry ass old high women who would hate me because I'm a foreigner and I got paid more than them. And to be honest with you, we had no resources. So we had to always ask questions and those questions were never answered or they would say, no, we can't do that. No, we can't give you copy paper, bring your own paper. You see what I mean? Without the resources, without the support, you're going to end up giving up. You're going to go to work. You're going to be like, man, this is garbage. See what I mean? So I'm just including everything that happened to me. All right. So I got three minutes. So here we go. The negative impact, the negative results of this would be uh high employee turnover in other words what does that mean in other words is when you're trying to rephrase something that you feel like you did not say perfectly or you did not say clearly so you're clarifying it in other words you're clarifying the idea that you just made in other words most employees at work would quit too off oh hold on most employees would not stay over a year because they feel like they're not learning anything new or yeah there you go learning anything new make it easy now we have to talk about the suggestions so remember i told you i got those three four sentences right now now it's on to the solution. Okay, so what I would, uh, as, as a suggestion, companies should provide 
training programs that employees can attend so that they can improve techniques and also give them more of a responsibility on job uh what is it on on the job so that they are contributing to a uh what is it a greater cause done i know i'm going to explain don't worry the last sentence therefore by companies helping employees by being part of their learning, I don't know, their learning, by being part of their, nah, by, uh, by contributing, by contributing, now nah, I already said that, let me go back, okay, let me think, therefore, by companies helping employees with their careers this is how it would encourage them to stay no to con this is what would encourage them to continue working there ta ta now it's a little bit weird Okay, I did that on the fly and everything in a little teaching way. Now, what I'm going to do is hurry up and take a photo so that I have it. And then I can show you exactly what the structure is. But 30 seconds. So I'm going to tell you exactly everything that I wrote here. There was a little repetition, but I'm not too worried about that. I hope that I hit it off, but I feel like this is probably a four. All right. So I have no idea. Let's see what this is. Oh, a five. So, although I felt a little bit concerned, all right, a little, a little concerned, I was like, I don't know if I actually did well in the ideas. No, I got a five. If you get a five, we're going to be monsters. But there's a lot of different things that I did in that specific, uh, what is it, in that specific uh, task that allowed me to get a five. You know what I mean? So what I'm going to do. I'm going to send that photo to you right now. All right. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into my a wonderful Arsenio CSL podcast. Again, if you guys want to see the template, follow me on IG. If you want to see the video, follow me on YouTube and my Facebook page. And without further ado, I'll be seeing you guys in the next podcast.